Hey, what is up to golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, I wanna help you guys develop easy power and pain-free forehands. Today's video is specifically about coiling. I did a complete breakdown of the forehand throw. It's one of the most popular forehand tutorials on YouTube, so I'll link that in the description below. If you haven't seen that yet, definitely go watch it. The thumbnail says effortless power. That's gonna be the prequel to what we're talking about today. So today, we're just going to be talking about coiling. Now, coiling is a very commonly taught practice when teaching the backhand throw. And I'm sure you guys already know that coiling is basically when you have your shoulders here, you reach back on your throw, and then your shoulders basically go to here. So, you know, it's obviously bad to reach back like this. So we just coil the shoulders back, and that's how you're going to maximize the distance on that backhand throw. So it's just going from here to boom to here. Now, that's super common on the backhand but nobody talks about coiling on the forehand. And I find it so bizarre because every single pro player with a good forehand coils on their forehand as well. But if you look up forehand coiling on YouTube, nothing comes up, no pros talk about it, no tutorials talk about it. And I fall guilty of this as well. But the more I watch people throw forehand, the more I realize the forehand requires a good coil as well. Now I'm gonna make it really simple. The forehand coil, all we're doing is having basically our shoulders need to get from this position into this position. So all we wanna do is do our walk up, plant in this position, and then pull our shoulders through, and boom, let the disc fly and follow through. A lot of you guys I know for a fact are stepping up to the tee with your chest, boom, facing the target, walking up, and then just throwing that disc from an extremely compromised position. You're gonna find yourself hurting your shoulder, hurting your elbow, hurting your wrist. Basically every joint involved in the throw is gonna be taking on so much unnecessary stress if you're not allowing your shoulders to rotate through the throw. So I like to start with my chest facing either directly at the target or maybe just even slightly to the right of the target. Whatever's gonna be most comfortable for you is gonna to be totally okay. Another crucial part of this is when I plant, I like to try to have my toe either facing directly towards the target or my toe facing, again, slightly to the right. Whichever's more comfortable for you, but you do not want your toe facing perpendicular to the target like you would on a backhand throw. So that's the only prerequisites to this that I feel like I have to say to make sure you guys can do this safely. So we're gonna line up our shot. I'm basically facing straight at my target. I'm gonna walk up. I'm gonna rotate my shoulders. I'm gonna coil just like this. I'm gonna coil and then I'm gonna plant and power through my shot. So much water just flew off my disc on that shot. All right, we'll throw a few more so you guys can really get a vibe for what this looks like. <clears throat> And I'm barely even taking a run up. I'm just doing like two or three steps and letting it fly. You can see how, how simple this looks. I'm throwing the disc nice and soft, not wrenching any of my joints. All this is happening in my hips and in my shoulders. I'm just getting from here to here. And we'll do a couple more throws and then we'll wrap things up. Do two more throws and then we'll wrap it up. But what this is gonna allow you to do is put little to no effort into your throw, but still get very respectable power. And I could throw 500 shots like this and my arm would not be sore. My elbow would not be sore. My shoulder would not be sore. I could throw 500 more. I could do this all day because all the power is being generated by my core and by the, this rotational force that's happening just by coiling my shoulders. I just think that this is super important for you guys to throw safe and smooth and comfortable forehands and to continue to develop your forehand. If you're not doing this, I would 100% advise you start coiling on your forehands as well. Again, this is going to help you develop that easy, smooth, and comfortable 
you know, 350 or more. So if you're just going all arm and throwing 300, this is going to get you to 400. This is going to get you if you're throwing 400 to 450. If you're not coiling, if you start coiling, you're going to continue to put yourself on a path to stay injury free and to have a more powerful and consistent forehand. But anyway, just a quick, simple tip for you guys today. I hope this is helpful. Comment down below. You guys are watching Iceberg TV. If you like videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below and take care.